Allen purchased Jack's business with effect from 1st April 2012. They agreed that the firm's goodwill is to be valued at four years purchase. Of normal average profit of the last three years, which were as under 2010, 60,000, 80,000, 70,000. Calculate firm's goodwill under average profits method, right? And the profits which you have for 2010 and 11 are given to be including an abnormal loss of 10,000 and abnormal gain of 20,000, right? Now, the first thing that you need to do here is you have to calculate goodwill based on four year purchase. So the value of goodwill is equal to four year purchase of normal average profits of last three years. So the first thing that I need to do here is I need to calculate what are the normal average profits of the last three years. So let's calculate that normal average profits last three years. Right? So which are the three years? So I will take the years 2010, 2011 and 2012. Right? What are the profits that I have? The profits that I have are 60,000, 70,000 and 80,000. Right? These are the profits which include some adjustment. I'm sorry, I think I've taken the wrong numbers here. It's 60,000, 80,000 and 70,000. Now, these are not the regular profits. These are not the normal profits that the business earn. Why? Because you are told that the 60,000 worth of profit that you are having here is including an abnormal loss of 10,000. So let's say for example, there was a profit of 70,000 which the firm made. Out of that, there was an abnormal loss of 10,000 which was reduced to get at the average profits of or the actual profits of 60,000. I need to normalize these profit, the profit which I would have earned if this abnormal item did not happen. So obviously my profits were 60, 70,000, I've reflected 60. To reach to 60, what will I do? I will add this 10,000 here. This is abnormal loss. Similarly, for 2011, 80,000 is the profit which is reflected in my books, but this 80,000 includes an abnormal gain of 20,000. Right? So let's say for example, my normal profits for X, I added an abnormal gain of 20,000 here and I got 80,000. Right? So my normal profit X will be what? 80,000 minus 20,000 or 60,000. So I will reduce 20,000 from here, which is abnormal gain. For third year, we don't have any adjustment, so we just leave it like this. So my normal profits will be how much? 60 plus 10,000, 70,000. 80 minus 20,000, 60,000. 70 plus zero, 70,000. Total normal profits are 70 plus 70 plus 60 or 2 lakh, right? Goodwill is to be valued at four year purchase. Four year purchase means what? Four times normal average profits of the last year. My normal total normal profits were two lakh. So the average profits will be two lakh divided by three because I'm taking three years out here. Right? So this will give me what? Let's use the calculator maybe. Oh, it's simple. It's 66. 667 into 4, right? Or well, let's say 4 times 200000 is equal to 8 lakh divided by 3 is equal to 
266667. That's the value of goodwill that you got. 266 Just round it off. Right? Again, just to re-summarize, what were the steps we took? We were supposed to compute it at four year purchase. So four times normal average profits. How do you calculate normal average profits? First, you calculate normal profits for each of the year. Once you've got them, do the total and divide it by three because that's the number of years for which we have to compute the average profits. In order to compute normal profits, the impact of abnormal loss and abnormal gains are eliminated. Right? We hope you would have liked this video. You can visit our website www.iidubook.com in the CBSC accounts section for class 11th and 12th and CACPT and other courses wherein these concepts are relevant. Thank you for being with us today.